Are you ready? Are you ready for some training? How's it going, everyone? And I hope you're ready for something cool. Me. Hope you're ready for something interesting in the community that just came out fairly recently. Uh, Trusta and various other people have worked on this. It's called the GDDP. It is the Geometry Dash Demon Progression Sheet. And what it is, is it's an Excel spreadsheet that I believe uh, anyone can access. And it's a tier list of various uh, levels that you can play to get better at the game. And it tells you exactly what skill it'll get you better at the game at. So for example, you can see up here, you can see some, uh, the top people like Zamasu, Nopo, Trusta. Um, you can tell what levels they've cleared. You can see there's beginner demons, uh, which is probably easy demons. Um, and it tells you exactly what skill it'll get you better at. Um, like a dust is overall Fjork is a fast paced level, uh, and, and so on. It, it can tell you what skill it'll get you better at. So then you can move up to like bronze demons. There's probably like some medium demons in there. Silver demons. We're starting to get to some hard ones and then gold demons, some like insanes, you know, maybe hard, hard demons, insanes, and then like some insane and easy extremes. And then platinum demons, like easy extremes. And then it goes up from there. Sapphire demons are starting to get into some like harder extremes and then emerald demons, some pretty tough extremes. We're starting to get some list demons and then uh, ruby demons. Yeah, like top list demons, diamond demons. Anyways, the idea is you're supposed to beat like a certain amount of levels per tier to move on to the next tier uh, to improve your skills at the game. It gives you some metrics that you can go by to get better at the game. You can choose some of these levels, choose maybe some skills that you're lacking, and then go for, uh, you know, a particular level that will help to improve that skill, right? And you're supposed to beat a certain amount of levels, and you can move on to the next tier, right? And so it's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little system. There's also some bonus pack tiers of, like, the Trusta pack, the RGB pack, the Hell Trilogy, which I've done. I've done the Hell Trilogy, woo. And so I want to give this list a shot. I've already beaten uh, some of these levels, not a whole lot. But I'm going to be starting at the beginner demons and I want to beat like every single beginner demon and then move on to bronze demons and like the ones I haven't beaten. I want to move like, you know, beat the ones I haven't beaten and then move on from there. Um, however, of course, like some of these levels I've beaten, like, you know, Voyager, Decode, Death Moon, X, right? Like I've beaten a lot of these levels. Theory of Everything 2, Chaos Impact. So like maybe even just today, I'll be able to go through like the, the remaining demons I have on this list. Probably not actually. There's quite a lot there. There's like 22 demons. I probably have like 10 demons on this list I got to beat. So the first level is A Dust by Felix Ram, which I have not done. Let's go. I got 41% on it. I think I was playing this recently, actually, because I was doing a stream where I was trying to be as many demons as possible. Um, but I was I ran out of time like exactly when I got to this level, which, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm pretty sure this will be uh, pretty chill for me. Um, but you know, let's do it. Let's just, let's go through it. Wow. I'm just going to practice it. Well, actually, I mean, I actually had a bit of a hard time learning that. So this section, okay. You got to fly all the way up and then boop, boop, ticka, ticka. Oh, and you get hold down. Okay. Whoa. Cool. It got a little harder. I, I understand. This will get you better at the game for sure. Especially if it's more like one of the first demons you've done. Dude, this ending, I'm actually, <laughs> this ending I'm dying to quite a lot. Okay. Do, 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 go down and then, hey. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, you don't even press that button. Okay. Don't you don't even press the button there. You don't even have to press the button there. Look at you just, just bounce off that. <laughs> Yo, man. You gotta you gotta touch the bottom and then fly up. I held down the button and like it took me a long time to get my momentum changed. <sighs> dude. Oh, are you kidding me? I made it through so much to get there. Come on, man.
Whoa. Well, I almost died there. <laughs> I forgot that last little UFO part. All right, yo, we did it the first one on GDDP. That was that was pretty chill. It took me 46 attempts, and some of those were from previously. So good. That was, that was a good start. A dust, and it's a fun level. It's got some really good gameplay. Uh, there's just some parts that are uh, pretty unique that you got to know how to do. But once you know, they're not that bad. Uh, it was a good level to get better at the game, which is why it's on the GDDP. All the levels were curated to make you better at the game. So boom, perfect first demon. Love it. The next level is uh, Fjork, which I, I don't think I played Fjork either. So let's uh, let's do it. I did. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I did this in the Easy Demons video a while ago. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, this is, a great, this is a great level to get you better at the game. Yeah, I just didn't remember the name. Fjork. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah fast paced level it goes like four times for like a while i remember uh it's modern but it's still like pretty uh oh yeah yeah it's modern but it's very clear like sometimes i have a hard time with modern levels but this one is good to do but anyways i've already done it and the ones that i've already done i'm not gonna go back and do again so cool the next one on the list is Nexus by Blue Rims, which I've already done as well. I did that one recently, actually, in the recent Easy Demons video. Actually, it was the one where I tried to do a bunch of demons in two hours. So you can go check it out there. So the next one is Nothing by Iris Wolf. And this is supposed to test us on ship and timings. So boom, let's go. Speaking of timings, I just got my... I'm getting my butt kicked! Yeah, that is... that. that those are some timings. But yeah, that's those are definitely some timings. Yeah, I can read it. I see, I see what we're doing here. Ooh. Whoa, that, this is so cool. Man, what a cool looking level. I absolutely love it. Oh. Boom. Nice. That, ch that chills out a little bit. Okay. I can see a little bit easier what I'm doing in like the screen section. Boom. Here we go. This sh ship practice. Ooh, that is cool. I like that mark. Like it looks like it's getting like painted on. The swish is very cool. Ooh, man. Whoa, for an easy demon. For an easy demon. That's some pretty tight flying. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm full in concentration. Well, come on. We're so close to the end, Eric. More flying. I can do that. Oh, you. I'm so bad. Like, I I knew what I had to do. And like, I felt awkward going through there. I was like, that wasn't that hard. That was one of the easier flying. No, no. And I'm unbelievable. Boom, and that's it, huh? Yeah, that is definitely a big flying test. Holy, that was, the levels, uh, you know, it's pretty doable because the hardest parts are flying. Like there is some timing parts as well, clearly, but man, that flying is tight. But if flying is your strong suit, like you can get through this pretty quick. Like I got through there without practice, right? In 10 attempts, because I am pretty good at flying. Um, but like, if you need help with flying, Man, this level will get you better at flying for sure. Holy shoot, that was fun. And it looks really cool. Nothing by Iris Wolf. See, this level is one of those levels where I look at and I'm like, that's a pretty tough, easy demon because there's so much like difficult flying. Yet I beat it in some of the lowest amount of attempts that I've ever beaten an easy demon, 10 attempts. Reason being is because like, if you're good at flying, which is purely skill-based and no memorization required, boom, like you can do this level, right? So yeah, that was cool. That was a great level. Really get you better at the game. The next one on the list is Club Step, baby. Yo, I'm just I'm just doing it for the lols. Let's go. Love it. I still am of the opinion that doing Club Step as the very first demon that you do will just give you the skills you need to start rifling through some other demons. And I think it's just personally because it's the first demon that I beat as well. It's just such a necessary hurdle, even though it's like pretty hard getting here for the first time to do this. 
Man, just go. Go and beat Clubstep as your first demon if you haven't beaten a demon already. I know it's going to be difficult. I know it's going to be painful. I think it took me almost 3,000 attempts, but it's going to be so worth it to improve your skills. It's, it's, it's so helpful. The hardest part for me is this UFO. It's the only part that I still, like, actually consistently die to, you know? Once I get through there... Oh, we're flying, baby! It'll definitely get you better at the ship, that's for sure. And the UFO as well. Ship, UFO, cube. Very, very necessary things. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. So where was I again? Oh yeah, club step. Club step is really awesome for getting you better at the game like those. Like gravity switching through the portals and here. Like, oh my god, it gets you so much better at the game. And the nerve control too. Because like this, that's like right at the end of the level. Man, the nerve control is really good. I can't, dude, I've been talking and I just can't even focus. I can't believe I just died there. I don't care, I've already done it. I can't talk and play this game. Ah! Okay, the next one is Meow by Blow My Poo, which I, uh, I think I did this a long time ago. This one, I'm pretty sure. Meow, oh, oh, no, I, this wasn't a long time ago. This is, this is a newer one. I, re I remember doing this one. This was in a five easy demons video. And I remember this actually being, uh, fairly challenging at parts, right? There's there's definitely like some quick inputs and a lot of memorization. It's a really good level to get better at the game, yeah. The next one on the list is Speed Racer by Xanthic Alpha, which is definitely an older level. I believe this is early 1.9. Um, I'm pretty stoked. Let's go, 1.9 1. easy demon, and let's go fast. Dude, why, am I, why am I jumping on top of that one? You just fall? Oh no, no oh, you go. You go underneath. <laughs> These speed changes. This is a wild level, dude. Dude, I can't. I should have played this in 1.9. What was I thinking? This is this great, dude. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't read those. I'm just. I'm just going. Wow. Okay. Let's go speed racer. <laughs> this level's wild. I love it. Like this would have been one of my favorite 1.9 levels of all time. Why didn't I play this? It's so much fun. You slow speed change. Wow. Wow! Oof. <laughs> that is... That is wild, dudes. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that's so much fun! Holy shoot! That's one of my new favorite 1.9 levels! I love all the speed changes! And it's going up and down in the duel and... Wow! Damn, son! That's like one of my favorite Xenthic Alpha levels of all time. That is so cool! All right, the next one is Voyager by Nazgub, which I have uh, I have already done. A very good level for getting you better at flying in particular. I have done the next few levels, actually. Decode, for sure. I've done Decode. I've done Death Moon. I don't think I've done the Cobalt Ruins, though. So this level... I have done the Cobalt Ruins. When did I do this? This is a newer one. Dude. Oh, this level. I remember. I'm so bad with names. Dude, I remember this level. This level had great gameplay, yeah. This, this is a great level, guys. Honestly, I did this in a recent uh, Five Easy Demons video. Probably, um, gosh, when did I do it? I don't know. It's, it was like two months ago or something. Maybe a little bit longer than that. But anyways, great, great level. Cobalt Ruins. Fantastic level for overall gameplay, for sure. I also have done X by Triaxis. It was dedicated to me. Played it when it first came out. Uh, the next one is called Psyworm. I don't think I've played that one. I <laughs> And I apologize, guys. I'm, I've am i played a lot of levels, so I can't remember the names of all of them. All right, here we go. Psyworm by Eveshkawa, which I have not played. It is an XL level, so this is supposed to be nerve control, which means it's XL, which means it might not be particularly hard, but you definitely... 
You definitely will feel nervous because it's so long and you don't want to start all the way over again. Oh, that is, that's cool. I can, I can sight read this pretty easily. Wow. No, I can't. Oh, can I? I mean, yeah, it says easy demon. Like I, I mean, can I sight read this? I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go into practice mode. I'm going to like, it's hard for me to read that. Like those, those wacky, really, really cool transitions, but kind of wacky, you know, the music sync is on point, man. This is great. Whoa, hey, that was cool. The zipper in, man, what a cool transition. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Love it. Hold. Oh, dude, what am I doing? <laughs> Where am I going? Yeah, it's got some pretty wild gameplay. Like, you gotta hold on those and you can like stay airborne as the uh, robot. Dude, man, a lot to remember. I'm totally gonna, I'm totally gonna die here. This is definitely, I think, I think the hardest level of the day. So it is really good for nerve control because it's not just like a super long XL level that's really easy. This is actually like challenging. Dude, oh man. I just want to push the button when I'm at, whenever I'm in like a UFO portal. I almost died the UFO port before that. That's boy. UFO ports are pretty hard. Yo, no, I didn't jump there. Are you out of your mind? I jumped, but like the spike just, whoo. Like it was, I got the rug pulled out from under me is what it felt like. Yo, ah. I got the nerve control. I controlled the nerves. I didn't really. My butt cheeks were pretty clenched. What a cool level though, Psyworm. Can't believe I haven't heard about that one. Uh, that was really fun to do. And uh, I really like the music sync and kind of how funky it feels with that lo-fi song with cartoon sounds. The next one's Theory of Everything 2, which I've done a million times. And the next one after that is Chaos Impact, which I think I've done as well. I think I did that like a year ago. Yes, I have. The next one is Desolate Deep by Dominus. This is supposed to be really good wave practice. So let's uh, let's do it. I'm definitely down for some wave practice. I've been doing a lot of wave lately because of, uh, you know, the nine circles levels I've been doing. So I might be able to make short work of this if this is like a pure wave level, but let's, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that gets a little bit tight. Okay. Oh, dude, I don't know what I'm doing. Wow, uh, this is pretty fast paced. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely like some wave stuff, but there's definitely some uh, some memorization and some timings and stuff uh, as well. It's a pretty good level to get you better at the game. I think it's a what I die to. 
I think it's a tough-ish easy demon. Yeah. Wow. I normally don't die to flying sections like that. Okay. 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 Remember when I was saying I was good at the ship? I was like, hey, guys, you know what? I'm so good at the ship. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm not. That's some pretty hard flying, huh? I did it. Yo, I did the ending. You just got to look for those little arrows that tell you where to jump. But it's going like four times speed. You got to look for those tiny little arrows in the cube section because it's hard to read. And boom, you got it. You just got to be aware. That was cool. That was a good level. Desolate Deep. Liked it. You know, we didn't get all of the beginner demon levels done, but I will clean them up in the next video. I think the ones that I have left to do is after Desolate Deep, I've done Buried Angel. That's part of one of the demon packs, I believe. Demon pack? Um, I've done Motion by Tama and I've done Blue Hell, um, but I haven't done Parallel Run, Deep, or Wowzers, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I might have done Deep. I forget. But anyways, there's some levels to clean up. So in the next video I do of this series, I'm going to clean up the Beginner Demons, and then we're going to start on the uh, Bronze Demons, which I have done a bunch of these as well, but there are also a bunch that I haven't done. Uh, so yeah, it should be uh, it should be pretty cool. I'm excited to be working my way down this list. And yeah, I, I definitely want to uh, do as many of these as I can. It's just something that's fun to do in the game, like a measurable goal that I can work towards. It's just another thing that I can uh, play and you guys can hopefully enjoy watching me play a bunch of these demons that are on this list. You know, I uh, really enjoyed today's video. I thank uh, Trust and the GDP guys for making this list. It was a lot of thought and care seems to have gone into it. So yeah, very, very cool. Today we did five levels. We did a dust, which was a really fun Felix Ram level. Uh, we did nothing, which was really trippy and cool. Uh, a lot of flying gameplay. Speed Racer, which is one of my new favorite 1.9 levels. It was so much fun. And then we did Cywarm, Cool XL, and Desolate Deep, which had some fun gameplay. So hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Leave a thumbs up. And as always, peace.